Na tukisonga mbele mtazamaji ni kwamba asilimia 40 na saba ya wakenya wanasema mtaala wa masomo ya CBC ni bora kwa asilimia 38 wakisema mfumo wa wali wa 844 ni bora zaidi. Haya ni kwa mujibu wa ripoti ya maoni ya wakenya kuhusu CBC iliyozinduliwa na shirika la Tawiza East Africa leo. Katika ripoti hiyo wakenya wamerudisha changamoto kuu zinazokabili CBC wa gharama ya kifedha na wazazi kutumia muda mwingi na kama mwanahabari wetu Alice Dana na ripoti matokeo utafiti yataweza East Africa pia yameonyesha kuwa wananchi wengi hawajaadhirika na mwelekeo wa nchi kuhusu marekebisho ya mitaala Huku nchi hii ikiwa katika mwaka wake wa saba wa kutekelezwa kwa mtala wa masomo wa CBC, asilimia tisina sita ya wa Kenya angalao wamesikia kuhusu mtala huo, huku asilimia inne wakisema kuwa hawaja usikia. Haya ni kwa mujibu wa ripoti iliyotolewa hii leo na shirika la tuwaweza East Africa kuhusu maoni ya wananchi kuhusu mtala wa CBC. Aidha Ripoti hiyo inaonyesha kuwa kati ya waliowahi kusikia kuhusu CBC, asilimia 47 wanahoji kuwa ni bora, wakiwemo asilimia moja wanaosema ni bora zaidi, huku asilimia 38 wakisema mtala wa awali wa 844 ndio bora. Comparing uh, 47 and 38, that's a difference of around 9%. So why do we have these numbers? What's going on? Is there misinformation? Uh, citizens aware of what CBC is uh, because as we progress we can also see that almost 10 that's 9% of citizens they are saying that it's, it's the same so they are in between they don't know whether to switch to this or not uh, or stick with the old system Changamoto kuu inayokabili CBC kama ilivyotajwa na wazazi katika ripoti hiyo ni gharama kubwa kwa wazazi ambayo ilitajwa na baadhi yao Changamoto nyingine zilizotajwa ni pamoja na walimu kutofunzwa vyema katika kufundisha CBC watoto kupewa zoezi gumu utekelezwaji hauko wazi na kuchanganyikiwa ni wapi watoto wanapaswa kwenda shule au pili It's too demanding on the part of the parent So there is a lot of parental involvement of which parents think that more should be done in school rather than at home although research indicate that the more a parent is involved in child uh, learning we find uh, the learning outcomes improve so parents did complain or they are not quite happy because it's like most of the lord is on their side mabadiliko makubwa yaliyopendekezwa na wananchi kwa CBC ni kupunguza mzigo wa kifedha kwa upande wa mzazi ikitajwa na asilimia nne ya waliohojiwa mapendekezo mengine ni pamoja na upatikanaji wa rasilimali na vifaa vingine vya mafunzo kupunguza ushiriki wa wazazi katika CBC kupunguza mzigo wa kazi kwa wanafunzi na kutoa elimu zaidi kwa umma kuhusu CBC mwananchi mmoja kati ya sita hata hivyo alipendekeza CBC iondolewe kabisa if the government can be able to address the cost aspect probably more citizens will be more uh, will embrace the new curriculum uh, much more compared to the current situation aidha wakenya wawili kati ya tatu wanafahamu kuwa serikali imeona jopo kazi la kukagua CBC wanaofikiri jopo hilo litafikia malengo yake ni asilimia 44% huku asilimia tano wanaisi kikosi kazi hicho hakitafikia malengo yake. Utafiti huo ambao ulifanywa kati ya Novemba 3 na 17 mwaka 2022 pia ulifichua kuwa asilimia nane ya wakenya hawajaridhishwa na mwelekeo ambao Kenya inachukua kurekebisha mtala wa shule ikilinganishwa na asilimia sita ambao wameridhika. Watu elfu tatu waliusika katika utafiti huo ambao ulifanywa kwa njia ya simu za mkononi. We take very seriously findings from research such as the one that you have just done. We may not climb rooftops or hilltops to shout what we are doing as a result of the findings, but you can be very assured that we will always where necessary review certain aspects of the curriculum and inform implementers appropriately where we have information that necessitates that that be done Alice Diana Dira Hope TV